Kittle review. Hi guys, welcome back to another video and in this video I'm going to be reviewing Kittle and I'm going to be showing you why it's one of the best softwares for illustrations out there. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. Now, for those of you who don't know what Kittle is, it's basically a website where you can create different types of illustrations, uh, whether it be logos, t-shirts, designs, uh, posters or cards or labels, whatever it is, you can come over here and create them. Now, one of the cool things about Kittle is that it's absolutely free. I mean, there is a pricing plan, but most of the things that you would need, most of the features like, you know, using it is absolutely free. So you won't have to buy the software, which is why I love it. Now, another part is that they have an extensive and a very large library of designs and illustrations. Like, for example, if I were to just simply open up this design, right? Like I click on use this design, I would need to go ahead and log in, right? And it's absolutely free so let me just first log in and show you all of the cool stuff that it offers so the sign up process is also very simple all you got to do is just either sign up with your google account or facebook account or you can either enter in your name your email address or your password and you're good to go right but i've already signed up so i'm just simply going to go ahead and log in so it's pretty simple so over here it's going to load up all of the designs right so let me just show you some of the designs that i've created so if i come over here onto my profile I click on my profile you'll see this is a design that i created right so if i click on edit it's going to open up over here now this one was that i created it looked pretty cool to me and that's why i created it uh it's very simple nothing too crazy and you'll see just how cool it looks right like it's very cool so of course it still needs a lot of work like i'm not the best designer in the world but to me i think it was pretty cool right so over here we have this little paint as well like this texture that i added as you can see over here and also if i were to add some more textures over here this is what i was talking about you know it has such a cool and such a diverse and big library to choose from so as you can see these are all different types of textures that you could apply for example if i wanted to apply this one it's already applied so I'll, let me just show you i'll close it up and you'll see it's already applied and we have two other ones as well. So over here, this one has been applied. If I click on the texture, I can go ahead and change the color as well. Color burn, normal, multiple, overlay. I click on overlay, it's overlaid. Click on soft, click on normal. This is how it looks like. I click on color burn, then it's only going to be applied on the things that are being shown over here. If I click on multiply, it's going to multiply itself and it's going to show over here onto the background as well as on top of the other texture that I added before. And it just gives it a little bit more of a cooler vibe, right? I can even adjust the opacity as well. So over here, as you can see, I like this one. And also you can adjust the color of the entire design by just simply clicking on this palette over here. So this is what I was saying, like it's such a clean design. It's so easy to use. Like if I just simply click on red, it's all red, brown uh you know redstone is over here like i think this one was the first one that i applied we have cold forest purple mango dream like a bunch of different ones right so it's so cool but yeah i'll just go with the redstone over here so over here this is what i was talking about and if you wanted to edit it out add some more elements over here they have as i said before a very large library and very diverse library of different elements so over here as you can see when i click on the arrow it opens up and it shows us a bunch of different options over here so you have shapes you have ornaments over here you can see you have some very different kinds of ornaments you have victorian ornaments you have soft elements you have calligraphics and art decor like all these awesome looking designs over here you even have illustrations so over here you have different illustrations of outdoors you know trees of, for different animals you have cartoons buzz even skulls as well you have you know animal silhouettes as well you know you have beauty lifestyle you have these awesome looking designs that you can go ahead and add and create a cool looking design with and it's really simple they also have some abstract options as well so as you can see over here they look pretty amazing and look pretty cool and it's so simple and it's very easy and it's all free that's one of the cool parts it's absolutely free to use if you were to use it right it's so simple over here as you can see this is the design that i basically added but yeah it's so simple to use and as I said before, there's an extensive library as well if you wanted to check them out. So if I go back, let me just leave this for a second and come back over here. We can see a bunch of different designs over here that you can go ahead and use and implement them for yourself. Like go ahead and edit them out 
and make them your own design and use them for your own purposes you can make them as a posters or a company label or you know t-shirt design as well so if you click on t-shirt design you can see you have a bunch of different cool designs that you can use for t-shirts and it's all absolutely free as well over here this one i really like this design as well like it's a nice little Tokyo type of design like you know Japanese design very retro very cool looking design so if you wanted to use this you could go ahead and use this as well and it's absolutely free as well it's so cool and it's just really easy to use like this one as well like the Grim Reaper style I mean you could probably go ahead and make something like this on your own or like you know it has the skull elements it has the scythe and some of the other art decor that you can go ahead and add and stay at home like you could go ahead and make this and it's very simple so let me actually show you if i click on this one let's say i wanted to use this design right let me actually show you so if i click on use this design it's going to open up over here so this is the design right so over here as you can see we have a bunch of different elements but this is the skull one right you can go ahead and use it so each of these designs have their own layers as well so if i click on layers you can see we have layers we have the texture layer the text layer the blurred effect as well over here if i click on the folder we can see the brush effect over here that we can add different brush effects to them it's a very detailed design is what it is but yeah and then we have the reaper where we have the brush of the scythe we have the scythe itself like if we wanted to not see the scythe that there is gone you can add the scythe as well over here if you come over here onto the elements and you search for it if you search for the scythe over here you can see you found it over here this is the scythe that is used within this uh, design you click over here as you can see it's very similar you flip it over and you put it like this increase the size of it as you can see it's a perfect match just need to rotate a little bit and increase the size a little bit more but yeah over here as you can see this is pretty much it this is the scythe that is used within this design and you can go ahead and put it over here as well you can go ahead and send it to back it'll be over there as well send it forward forward over here as you can see this is the site you can go ahead and implement this style as well same with this grim reaper as well so if we come over here and you search for reaper or the grim reaper click over here you're gonna have this design pop up this is the grim reaper that is being used within this design so you can go ahead and create this design for yourself as well it's so easy to use it's just pretty amazing and what the fact is that it's absolutely free as well i mean as i said before there is a pricing plan however so let me actually show you so let me just click on the design option and over here you can see upgrade your account right so if i click on upgrade let's go ahead and leave it and over here you can see you have these three plans right the free plan the pro plan and the expert so in the free plan you get all the cool stuff all the basic stuff you would need right so then you have the pro plan which has like the ten dollars per month which is billed 120 dollars per annually but in this one you get vector export high res jpeg and PNG exports, custom fonts, works on 50 projects, and 100 gigabyte upload speeds, only for $10 per month. Then you have the expert one, which is going to be $28 per month, and it will be billed annually for around $288. And everything in the Pro Plus, you get work on unlimited projects, 10 gigabyte upload spaces, vector exports, PDFs, SVGs, high res JPEG, and PNG exports, and custom font upload as well. So over here, this is the subscription plan for this. But as you can see, in the free one, you get everything as well full design library, 50 MB upload space work on 10 projects and you do get like low resolution jpeg and png export but it doesn't really matter they're not that low but yeah this is all the things that you needed to know about it so as i said before kittle is absolutely amazing it's absolutely free you can do whatever you want with it and you can be you know confident in your design as well it's so good so anyway that is it for this video guys that is it for this review video you know a little bit of overview how you can use it as well but yeah if you want to check it out, you can go ahead and check it out while clicking on the link in the description if you want to. But yeah, this is pretty amazing in my opinion. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment sections down below and I'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible. So having said that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. And until then, take care and goodbye.